I want to show you your first $150 an hour skill. We're going to design a very simple circuit board in KiCad and then export the files as Gerber files so that you could order them online. Don't worry, we're not designing this board right here. We're going to do what's called a Hello World circuit board. So this is going to be like the world's simplest circuit board. You could download the software for free. You could follow along right now. You're going to start by going to KiCad.org and you'll see that we have this beautiful free software here. It can do schematics, the layout. It can also do a 3D model of your circuit board. Unbelievable. File, new project, and then come up with a place to save this thing. I have a directory called KiCad and I put projects in there based on project number that I create. I'm just going to call it TikTok Hello World 2025 Rev A. Same with the file name. Save it. You'll see we now have a KiCad project and we have a circuit board file and a schematic file. At this point, I want you to remember something. Most of the work in a KiCad design happens right now. This is when you are selecting components and you're straightening them out in your libraries. And that goes for the schematic symbol, the footprint, which is the thing on the circuit board, and how those two are connected. You're gonna go into the symbol editor, file, new library, global. Now you have to find a place to save this library and we're gonna call it something. I'm gonna call it TikTok, save. If we click this little arrow, we see that there's no symbols in the TikTok library yet. This is the really fun part, because nowadays you can just go to digikey.com, find your component you want, download a complete zip file that has schematic, footprint, and 3D model in it. Back in the day, you had to design all that stuff. Just download it now, pull it into that TikTok library, and we we'll start designing. We have to go into the footprint editor and create a TikTok library in here, too. Much the same as the symbol editor, this library also has a little drop-down, and you're going to import your footprint. Double left click in here too, and you can assign the actual 3D model on this tab. And adjust your positioning so he matches reality using these little arrows here. Save him to the TikTok library. This is the symbol for that battery holder, and we need to assign the footprint. So just double left click in the library and you'll get this little window and you can actually select the footprint and you just select him from that folder you saved that download in. Double click to open your schematic. Type A to add your component. Scroll down to your TikTok library, grab that battery holder. There's your battery. I'm going to type P to get power and ground symbols. Connect them with little wires just like this. Super easy. Put descriptive text so you know what you did a year later. Click on your PCB file. This is your circuit board editor. Tools, update PCB from schematic. And that is going to pull everything in so that you have what they call a rat's nest. Here's a very novice layout. We simply connected all of the rat's nest lines with copper traces. Now we just need to add a board. Just go over here and click on edge cuts, rectangle tool, draw a rectangle. That is going to be your board perimeter. Watch this, view, 3D viewer. Oh, we have a 3D model, no effort at all. I would improve a lot on this board, but if you wanted to order it, file, fabrication outputs, Gerber. All right, we have Gerber files. Don't forget to generate drill files. Gerbers and drill files, you send those to the circuit board house like a JLC PCB or advanced circuits and you order the actual circuit board. Subscribe.